Every time the Lansing Bobcats have taken the field this season, it's been with a target on their backs. That'll happen when you're defending state champs. They've handled it well, but now they're in the sectional playoffs and every team is good and they had their hands full today. Bobcats and Unitigo at Hoy Field on the Cornell campus. Top five, Lansing in trouble. Quinn Barnhart grounds out on the play, but the force at first allows a run to score and the Spartans go up two to one. And that seemed to wake up Lansing. Bottom five, Alex Schultz with a base knock to right. Now check out Ellington Hopkins. Kind of thinks about it and he's like, yeah, I guess I'll go home. He ties the game at two with a head first slide at home and Lansing was far from done. They win it 5-2 and a big fifth inning in this one turned the tide. We just had confidence and knew we had to keep hitting and everything and we just went up there with the right set of mind and hit the ball. Our kids really put some good at bats together. Uh, I thought their pitcher was doing a great job but for our, our kids I thought we did a good job putting good at bats together and, and scratching out a couple runs. All right, elsewhere, Notre Dame softball rolls Sydney in the Class C quarter, 16-0. That is a slaughter. The Crusaders will host Union Springs in the semis Thursday. Well, tough news for former Cornell standout J.C. Treader. Reports out of Green Bay are saying the offensive lineman broke his ankle during the first week of Packers organized team activities. Coach Mike McCarthy said he'll miss the rest of the Packers OTA sessions. Those extend into the middle of June. Treader was picked in the fourth round of the NFL draft in April, and if it is a broken ankle, it's going to be a lot longer than the middle of June.